Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to show you some of the hail tracking features in Weather Defender. This is just a beginning tutorial. Um, it's only going to cover a few of the features, and there will be more to come later. But to get started, uh, we have an active weather system right now in the southeast part of the United States. Uh, some hailstorms are moving through um, South Carolina and North Carolina and parts of Georgia and so forth. And uh, what I'm going to show you is just a couple of the uh, layers that you can use, modify your map, and get a better look at what's going on. Um, as you can see, there's a tornado watch box out here in red, and then there's also a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings that have been issued recently on these storms. The first layer I'm going to show you, uh, we're starting with the summer map, uh, summer weather map here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is unlock the map so that we can modify this. It comes with a lot of good uh, layers right out of the box, but it doesn't have uh, some of the specific hail tracking layers. So what we're going to do is modify our map here. Clicking Map and Add Layer. We're going to bring up the Layer Browser, and then we're going to go into Severe Weather. Let's load that up, and then scroll down to Storm Reports. Over here then, on our map, you see a trailing list of icons that have just showed up. First of all, we have the storm reports listed in our map layers window, and then we can see these new icons here on the map. These are hail reports as indicated by ground observers. Um, I'll zoom in on this a little bit. And you see uh, each of these icons, the green with uh, the little stones in it, it means hail. And if you mouse over these, it will tell you the time of the report and the size of the hail associated. Some of these, if you click on them, you'll get a little bit more of a description here. So those are storm reports. Now one of the things you might notice about this is that uh, the timestamps are, well currently it's about 3.30, so this, this uh, report specifically is about 15 minutes old. Some of these go back for half an hour, an hour or so. So they're obviously trailing the core thunderstorm. Well, that's because it does take some time for these reports to come in. They're not always going to be immediate. The other layer I'm going to show you uh, in Weather Defender for tracking this stuff is called Storm Attributes. So let me get to another part of the storm where it's a little bit more active right now. And I'm going to go into the map and I'm going to do Add Layer. And we're going to bring back up this layer listing here. And I'm going to scroll down to Storm Attributes and Add to Map. OK, now and you can see in the Storm Attributes has been added to our map here. And Storm Attributes is simply combines hail, mesocyclones, and tornado vortex signatures as detected by radar. So in other words, the radar is crunching the uh, Doppler radar information and determining that there may be hail up to one, one inch, 1 1.5 inch in these various locations that has just fallen as a part of the storm. Um, so obviously the value here is it's much more current, much more, much closer to real time. Uh, the disadvantage of the storm attributes is that they're less likely to be accurate because it is a computer algorithm that's generating these numbers. So you need both. The short of this is that you need to have both storm attributes turned on so you can detect uh, the real-time or the near real-time indication and detection of hail, and then you need to have the storm reports turned on so that you can actually verify that in fact hail is falling and people are reporting it as it reaches the ground. Okay, this is only a few minutes after uh, we received notification of radar indicated hail on these storms. We see there is a hail uh, report about damaging hail of 1.75 inch that fell just about 20 minutes ago. So um, even though these storm reports actually come in a little bit later than the radar indicated hail detection, they're very important because they verify that there was indeed hail hitting the ground in this location. And if we can click on it, you'll see the actual report that was submitted uh, or that was collected several hail reports in the Mooresville area, one report of close to golf ball size hail, obviously that would be very damaging and you would want to know about that if this was an area of concern for you. So that gives you a little bit of an indication of some of the hail tracking that is available in Weather Defender. Stay tuned for more tutorials.